No, I haven't played that game, but I don't think it matters because I don't like soccer games that much. I've never ever been a big fan of soccer games. I think the best soccer game there ever was was Mario Strikers Charged Football, and that isn't saying much because I don't think this is that great either. Despite the fact that it is a Mario game and pretty much all Mario games are good, this one is, um, because it's soccer, it's not that exciting because, as I keep saying, soccer games aren't that appealing to me, so yeah. Hmm, well before I answer this one I'd just like to say that I've only seen the first three Pokemon movies so I'm really basing my answer off of the only ones I've seen which is the first three. So the best one I have seen would be uh, Pokemon the first movie and the worst would be Pokemon the movie three. Not that it was a bad movie but it was the worst one out of the first three definitely. I like the way you phrased that question, by the way. It was all like, show us your PS1 games or I'll fucking shoot your brains out. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. That was just retarded. So here I will show you my PS1 games. This might take a while, so please go to sleep if you get bored of this. Dragon Ball Final Bout, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22, Bomberman World, Chicken Run, Theme Park World, Ape Escape, <laughs> Rat Attack, Clonoa Beach Volleyball, Theme Hospital, Croc, Mickey's Wild Adventure, Mr. Jiller. Okay, I think that's the end of the retarded pile. Now for the other one. Right, Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2, Crash Bandicoot Warped. Crash Team Racing, Crash Bash, Spyro the Dragon, Spyro 2, and you'll never guess what's coming next, Spyro Year of the Dragon, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, not the Sorcerer's Stone because it's the PAL version, Fighting Force, Micromaniacs, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, Toy Story 2, Final Pile of Paleness. Whoop, almost shot one. Rayman. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, no One Can Stop Mr. Domino, the weirdest game of them all. Soul Blade. Tekken 3. Uh, the Rival Schools. Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Castlevania Chronicles. Clono at Door to Phantom Isle. South Park. Absolute shit. I once reviewed that, but took the review down because it was a crap review. Uh, Action Man Destruction. Uh, Mission Extreme, the next one. Action Man Destruction X. I used to like Action Man when I was five. Never mind. Hercules. Disney's Tarzan. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And last, and probably least, because it's not that great, Pandemonium. And can I just say before anyone asks, no I haven't completed most of them, and yes a lot of them are copied games. For example Soul Blade here, um, if we open this up you will find a CDR with my crappy handwriting on it. Not a real game obviously. Yes it does indeed suck, in fact it sucks harder than Paris Hilton sucks a cock, that is how bad it sucks. I suppose it can be useful for some things, for example gaming, I'm pretty sure that it's a pretty decent gaming machine Windows Vista, then again it depends what specs your computer has as well, but overall it would improve the standard of your gaming, even by a little amount. But even so, um, I've still to find a reason to get one, let's just put it that way. Well let me just start by saying, I do like quite a lot of bands like Judas Priest, Kiss, Aerosmith, uh, ACDC, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, The Who, uh, Aerosmith if I haven't said them already, uh, ELO, T-Rex, a whole lot of other ones as well. Um, basically I think I'm the only one in the whole wide world who has T-Rex and ELO in their list of favourite bands. I think they're very underrated bands indeed, so yeah check those out. But the number one band I have chosen as my favourite would have to be... Uh, the Offspring. 
Um, yes, they're a very good band indeed. Very fast-paced music, which I like. And in fact, I think I have every single one of their CDs so far, except their newest one, which was out in June, I think. I will be getting that pretty soon, though. I think uh, this one here, Smash, is their best one. So if you haven't listened to The Offspring yet and you want to give them a try, I'd say listen to Smash first, because that is definitely the best one. Well, I actually have tried that already, but I am not going down that road again. I mean, all this fidgeting about with Pandora's batteries and stuff for the PSP is absolutely ridiculous, and it's not worth it considering that you can play ROMs ten times faster on a computer and on a much bigger screen for that matter. So, I don't think it's really worth all the hassle, and um, as for the DS, I haven't tried Homebrew for that at all because I really don't want to um, try homebrew on anything after that big chaotic thing with the PSP. I actually don't think it's worth it anyway, because as I said, you can play ROMs and emulators perfectly fine on a computer, so there's really not that much um, point in doing it on other consoles. What will I expect of the game? I think it will be fucking brilliant because the first two Kingdom Hearts on the PS2 were actually my two most favourite games of all time, with Chain of Memories coming somewhere down the line there. That was a pretty awesome game as well. So I expect that it will be nothing less than spectacular, these new Kingdom Hearts games. And if it is crap, then the end of the world must be coming because I can't imagine a crap Kingdom Hearts game. I really think they're probably the best game series of all time, and they will never be crap. So, everyone, now's the time for... <sighs> yeah, um, it's much harder to hold uh, four guitars than it looks. Yes, I, I did tell you there'd be four guitars this week, and um, it, it is getting pretty ridiculous intro to Guess That Game. Next week we're going to have a big surprise for the Guess That Game intro. Well, at least we should have. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, let us begin the Guess That Game. So if you think you know what that game is, then please send me a private message saying the name of the game. And remember, if you don't send me a private message and leave a video comment instead, then not much will happen because I can hardly move holding four fucking guitars. But um, eventually something very bad will happen and you'll probably end up dying, so you have been warned. Last week's Guess That Game was a really good one because absolutely nobody guessed it right. Yes, um, well I guess you could say that I beat you because um, no one guessed it right. So uh, let's just have a look at the game once more and see if you can get it now. Hmm, what could it be? Well it was in fact Evo on the SNES. I bet you're all sitting here going, ah, Evo, oh, why didn't I get it? <laughs> I bet you're all sitting doing that. Well, nobody guessed it right, you're all a bunch of idiots, uh, but hopefully you'll get this week's Guess That Game right. And now for the random poll, and this week's random poll is who do you think gave the best E3 conference? Now, I've only seen the Nintendo one, and I must say it was pretty fucking lousy. And um, although I am a fan of Nintendo, their press conference sucked. And um, pretty much the only good game they announced was Grand Theft Auto Chinatown, whatever it's called. And even that, I'm not even a big fan of Grand Theft Auto, so that I can't look forward to. They did announce Wii Music, but compared to stuff like Guitar Hero or Rock Band, that is gonna suck. What else did they announce? This um, thing at the snowboarding thing. Whoop the freaking do! You get to stand on a um, board and bleh, surf about. Not my cup of tea, those games. Uh, so yeah, I only did see the Nintendo one, but from what I've heard, they were all pretty lousy, but the Nintendo one sucked the most. Um, which I'm quite disappointed with, because Nintendo are usually the best. Shit. Last week we asked, what do you think of trolls such as Gun Fever and Yo Christine Dwan? Let's have a look 
at the results. 35 people said that people are giving them too much attention. Good. Uh, 28 people said, wait, who are we talking about? Which is also good because you don't want to know who they are. Uh, 10 people said there isn't enough hate for them. Fair enough, I can thoroughly agree with that. And 2 people said that they like them. I'm sure those people must have been joking or they're, um, they're fucked up in the head. And so this ends this Friday video. Now sadly I don't have much to say to end this. So let's just do it quickly and professionally. I think that was a very good end.